Good morning and welcome to Real Estate in Real Time. I'm your host, Woody Zimmerman, here with Mark Skabowski of Remax Lakes. Welcome to the show. Here we are. Good morning. Here we are. Good morning. And I love your title. Well, do I? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't like it. I thought your title was clever. Interest rates, inventory, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Think Wizard of Oz. Yeah, Wizard of Oz. Older yeah. folks. Yes, right? right. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I thought it was a good time to talk about because we're all hearing all this noise. You know, the market's great, the market stinks, interest rates are going to kill the market, blah, blah, blah. Well, what's it mean locally? Mm -hmm. What's it mean locally? So, as of now, there's 121 active listings in Kosciuszko County. When I say active, that means available for somebody to purchase. Okay. They're not contingent, they're not pending, they're, they're active listings, 121, that with price range from... 69,000 to 3.7 million. Wow. Quite a range. That's right? a big range, yeah. Quite a range. Um, the number of days on market is beginning to shift. It is beginning to shift. So of those active listings that we currently have out there, the, one, the longest on the market is 438 days. Whoa. <clears throat> now, is that price? Is it location? I don't know. I didn't pull a detail on that particular property. Okay. But usually if something doesn't sell over the last 438 days, it's price or there's something wrong with it. Yeah, I was going to say probably <laughs> price, but <laughs> price yeah. Price or something wrong yeah, with it. Yeah. Um, the low is zero, which is, you know, brand new listings that just hit the market. So there would be zero days on market. The average is 68. Average days on market in Kosciuszko County is 68 days, and the median is 48. Okay. 48 now, days. For the longest time, we were like under 30 days for... Well, when we talk about solds, okay. right? Days on market. When we talk solds, mm -hmm. they're low. It's still 30 or less. Oh, okay. Right? Things that are sold. These are active on the market. Well, why are they... Why are those days on market longer? Mm-hmm. Well, part of it is the market is shifting, mm -hmm. and maybe sellers haven't reduced their prices yet to adjust and adapt to the to the shift. Okay, so because it's been a seller's market for a very long time, and so now the pendulum is swinging. The pendulum is swinging, and are you getting in front of that pendulum? Mm -hmm. Or are you saying, well, I'm going to price based on 2021 data because my neighbor's house sold for yeah. X, yeah. My, and mine is better because I have the gold nails, so yeah. I should get more than what they got for theirs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, it, it's different. That's why it's important that when you work with an agent that you look at current comparables. You look at current market conditions. Yeah. Because if I were to have priced a house based on 2021 data versus a house priced on 2008 data, do you think I would come up with a different number? Of course you would, yes. For the comps on yes. the house? Yeah. So that's an extreme example. An agent's not going to go back, no. you know, <laughs> eight years or 14 years, right. I guess, to do stuff. Yeah. But the fact is you've got to use current market conditions when you're pricing. And you need to price per the current market conditions if you want to sell your property. Mm -hmm. So using old data, using stuff from 2021 doesn't make any sense and you know unfortunately as an agent you know we could we were pricing things based on history and, and buyers are blowing that out of the market they were mm -hmm. which ultimately led to where we are today prices were so high you know to where today in order to get them sold because the market's tending is starting to shift people have to drop their price in order to get it sold okay well let's go back to inventory then because you said right now there's 121 121 i mean so and now that you would know the exact number, but this time last year. I don't remember this time last year, but I remember when we were doing shows and I was saying there were 50, 55, okay. 62, 68 homes available for sale. Yeah, so inventory has definitely so increased. Inventory has, has come up. Mm -hmm. It's still low. I mean, I I can't pull the active data from yeah. you know 2010 and see sure, where we right. were in a more normal market. Right. But... It's still there, but what when you look at that median days on market creeping up where it is, yeah, that says that people are pricing higher because every house is sellable. Every house is sellable just as at what price. Yeah. So if somebody is using data from a year ago, or my neighbor's house is the only example, and they price twenty thousand dollars too high, it's going to sit on the market longer. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well. 
Demand is still fairly strong in pockets. Okay. Certain things are selling, you know, really quickly, still some multiple offer. But if you overprice, buyers are pretty smart. And they know, especially add to it the interest rate impact mm -hmm. on affordability. You know, which affordability is the theme of 2022. Yes. So if you overprice, you're more than likely going to sit on the market a lot longer. Mm -hmm. And using, all I can say is using old data, you know, using year old data to price your house today is not a good strategy if you if your intent is to sell your house. Mm -hmm. If your intent is to get it listed and sold because you've examined your why and you know why you need to move, you're, you're relocating somebody somewhere else, you need to price it competitively in order to get it sold. Yeah, but I mean, year old data, I mean, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. I, I, it's not. It's not, but... But the market has shifted. It's changed. The, and it's in the process of, of that pendulum swinging to the middle, and ultimately it'll pop out on the other side as a buyer's market. On a buyer, yeah, the buyer side. Yeah, because we haven't gone that far we yet. We haven't gone that far. I'm not saying we're there yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So more on this interest rates, inventory. Oh, my. More on this show coming up here next. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time. Welcome back. You're listening to Real Estate in Real Time, and we're talking about interest rates, and we're talking about inventory, and like I said, your your title for this show, uh, very clever. It sounds like a Wizard of Oz. <laughs> interest rates, inventory, oh my. So we, we have been talking about uh, inventory. Uh, inventory has definitely increased. There's... We're starting to see more homes hit the market, which is kind of unusual in the fall. Yeah, right. Because typically it does take Slow down, yeah. But I, so why is that? Well, I'll, I'll give you Mark's opinion. There's no statistical data other than there's more inventory than there has been. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think people are still trying to take advantage of the market. Yeah. Trying to take advantage of, hey, maybe I can sell this and go. Maybe I can make, you know, a lot more money than what I thought. Not as much as 2021, but it's still a good time for sellers. Because mm -hmm. there is still demand. There is still strong demand. And inventory is not crazy. It, it's not, you know, 10 times what it was. Um, there, are, there are homes that are hitting the market, and they're still selling very quickly. We were talking a little bit off air. Um, you know, I listed two, and I got them both under contract, I mean, within three days. Mm -hmm. So it still can happen. Now, they were lower-priced homes, $150,000, $160,000 homes. Okay. They, they are moving very quickly. You know, I penned it at $400,000 uh, as well. That had been right. on the market a little bit longer. Now, did we sell at list price? No, we did not. Um, because we were using that, hey, let's try and take advantage of the market a little bit, price a little bit higher. Well, I mean, every and seller so, wants to every take, seller does get the most out of, out of their property. And, and as an agent, my job is to advise, yeah, to, right. to assist you in pricing. And then we, as a seller and an agent, need to come on, what do we think we'll sell it for? Well, in the background, we're talking about one set of numbers. When it goes on the market, it may be a different set of numbers. But we have to have the discussion and, and make the decision, we're going to try this. And if it doesn't sell, what's our strategy to get it sold? Because yeah. if that is the intent, is to get it sold, you need to have a strategy to do that. Okay. And you need to be real. You need to be real. I think the days of trying 50000 more than what it probably is worth are gone mm -hmm. compared to what we had in 2021. Yeah. You know, um, so price it using more current comps. You know, don't go back a year. Go back 90 days. And in our county, that's hard to do for some homes because, mm -hmm. you know, we don't sell. We're not like Indianapolis where you've got, you know, thousands that sell in a year. I mean, yeah. we might do a thousand in the whole year. Mm -hmm. So you've got a small sample size to do it. But between, you know, using more current and maybe some creative adjustments as far as using other properties for comps, that's where market experience comes in handy mm -hmm. because, you know, you've seen it before. You can make these adjustments to, to advise sellers and where they should price their home in order to get it sold. Now, I've seen some prices dropping. Now, yes. we're not talking like dramatic drops, but Correct. I'm talking like 1000 2000 5000 Right. You know, so pri prices do seem to be coming down. Yes. And I would imagine that because affordability, like you said, yep. that's the key word for yep. 2020. And you said that in January. Yep. Uh, but interest rates are going up. And so affordability is key. Uh, affordability is key. You know, pricing competitively still have. It's back to have your house in great shape. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. as a seller, expect there's going to be some buyers. The buyers are going to ask for some concessions. 
So one of the latest strategies that I'm seeing with offers that we're getting is buyers are asking for eight and ten thousand dollars worth of seller concessions. They may wow. give you full price, but they want ten thousand dollars worth of concessions. Why is that? They're going to use some of those concessions to buy down their interest rate. Yeah. To pay points to buy their interest rate down. So and realistically, you know, if you look at a three hundred thousand dollar mortgage at 7% interest, which is around where the rates are, principal and interest only, the, that payment is almost $2,000. It's $1,900, mm -hmm. 1996 yeah. to be exact. If you were to get your rate at 6.5%, it's $1,896. So a half percentage point on a $300,000 mortgage is 100 bucks a month. That's $1,200 a year. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that's significant. Money. Yeah, that's that is. That's significant when you've got fuel at 4.29 a gallon or 4.26 or 4.05, whatever it happens to be, you've got all of your other costs have increased. So the cost of your housing, buyers are asking for those concessions. So maybe you'll get that higher price, but you're gonna give some stuff up in order to achieve that. Yeah. And if you're not willing to pay those concessions, because closing costs generally are not eight to ten thousand dollars. No. Four to five, maybe. Mm -hmm. But you're not paying ten for for closing costs. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see is people adjusting to the market, buyers adjusting to the higher interest rates and making it more affordable. And as a seller, if as long as you sell your house and you get out of it what you the best you possibly can and move on, that's where you examine your why. Why am I selling? I need to sell in order to buy. You do what you got to do to get it done. I'm not saying give your house away, but the market, you need to adapt and adjust to the current market conditions. Pricing competitively and having a good understanding of what buyers are going to do and how they're going to react to the market are critical. And as this market shift continues to occur. Yeah, I was just going to say, because it all does come back to your why. Yep. So the pendulum, as we talked about earlier, so the pendulum is swinging. It has been a seller's market for a long, long time. Yep. Now the pendulum is swinging to more of a balanced market. Yes. Uh, it's going to take a while before it becomes a buyer's market again. Yes. Uh, I, you know, and when's the last time we had a buyer's market? Was you know, it was probably like probably 2010 or something 10, after. You know, prices had adjusted from the 08, 09, about 2012. So yeah. it, it probably in that time frame. And I guess the bottom line, you just need to really think about it. You mm -hmm. need to understand your why and adjust to current market conditions. Whatever you're doing, don't price old. This is a different time than it was a year ago. Yeah, which is crazy. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, I, but it, yet... It's a different time. Yeah. Totally well, different time. And that's why I say work with an agent because an agent <laughs> does this every single that's day, it. you it. know, and, 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 and we don't, you Which know? is why I have no hair on the top of my <laughs> right, head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Mark, your contact information. Sure. Our website's lakes-realtors.com. Phone number is 574-834-1233. Okay. Have any questions, give this guy a call. You've been listening to Real Estate in Real Time. Have yourself a wonderful weekend.